Well, here we have it. How do you convince a skeptical public to get a fourth shot? I'm grid seven, and let's just take a kind of quick look here. I want to point out a few things from this article right here. I'm not going to read it all, but get down to one important thing that this article highlights here. It goes, the expected green light for a second coronavirus booster shot poses a challenge to the Biden administration. Yes, it poses a huge challenge, which will need to work overtime to convince the public that has largely decided to move on from the COVID-19 pandemic. Both Pfizer and Moderna have filed for emergency use authorization with the Food and Drug Administration for a fourth dose of their respective vaccines, citing that evidence that protection from the third shot has decreased enough to warrant a fourth dose. This right here, this right here, emergency use authorization. To me, this is the biggest problem with COVID and the vaccines. Because if you go on over here to the FDA's website, emergency use authorizations, it has FDA may authorize unapproved medical products or unapproved uses of approval medical products to be used in emergency to diagnose, treat, or prevent serious or life-threatening diseases or conditions caused by CBRN threat agents when certain criteria are met. Certain criteria are met, including there are no adequate Approved and available alternatives. Emergency use authorization. You cannot have adequate, approved, or available alternatives. That's why you see a lot of things like the ivermectin, all that type stuff. <clears throat> they are heavily pushing that you cannot use it for COVID. Because if you if you approve it, suddenly you run into this problem right here with the adequate, maybe an they, they sure as hell won't approve it because if they approve it, you won't be able to push the vaccines and boosters with the emergency use authorization. It says nations have, booster rates have dropped to record lows talks about the BA2 version here of Omicron, which is much more transmissible than the original variant. Now, the Omicron variant is now about 35% of all cases in the country. Uh, in the Northeast, it's apparently a majority of infections. Now, there, and apparently health officials are now poised to authorize a fourth dose of the coronavirus vaccine for adults 50 and over as soon as uh, this week, a fourth shot is already authorized for the immunocompa, whatever that word is, <laughs> immunocompromised. Uh, but the issues that plague the administration during the first booster campaign loom large, and officials are likely eager to avoid the same pitfalls. One person said, no, I think that some of the low uptake of boosters, especially among the people who would benefit the high-risk population is because the message has been diluted. The message isn't being diluted. There's more There's more and more information, and as we get more and more information, the boosters aren't... The Sorry, the vaccine is not doing what they're saying it's going to do. I mean, just a couple of months ago, January, no, December, when Omicron first was coming out, there were... These, I saw reading experts saying, well... The vaccine's not going to do that well, but in order for the vaccine to really do well, you need not only to get the booster, but you also have to get Omicron. Then you're really going to be protected. And now we're got on the fourth one. And it goes, the underlying disagreement at the goal of the booster shots has not changed. While there's widespread agreement that older Americans are much more at risk for severe outcomes, it is not clear if the younger people will benefit from additional doses. 
Much of the debate has centered on whether the goal is to prevent people from being hospitalized with COVID-19, or whether the goal is to prevent them from getting sick at all, even if it's milder. And ah, this that's what a vaccine is for, to prevent them from getting it, from get, getting sick. I'm sorry, you don't get uh, the influenza vaccine so that you, know, you don't go to the hospital. You, you get it so you don't get influenza. But they've changed this so that, you know, so you don't go to the hospital. Well, you know, if you really want to do that, where's our treatment? can't do the treatment because if you get a treatment then you'll have this and you wouldn't be able to do the emergency use authorization UA uh, EUA for the vaccine I mean they continue on and on right here no so the real question is that we don't know definitely the answer to is how long is the durability of the protection against severe disease going to last even when the protection against infection diminishes substantially for example, we know that when you get down to a rather low level, 30 or 40 or so percent of pop, uh, protection against infection, you still have, when you look at hospitalization, a high degree of protection, Fauci said. Yeah. President Biden last summer promised widespread boosters for all Americans by the end of September, well before the FDA and the Centers for Control of Disease and Prevention has examined the evidence. While officials were careful to say the booster program was contingent on the FDA and CDC giving the green light, scientists inside and outside the government argued there wasn't enough evidence showing protection against severe illnesses and hospitalizations dropped to levels that warrant the booster. So you have scientists outside saying, hmm, hold on. Meanwhile, they're already pushing it up here. I think they said, no, this week to get the fourth dose. And then they wonder why, no, this person odd just says, no, keep the politicians out of it. The miscommunications occurred because they made the boosters a political issue, not a scientific issue. Now let's think about that phrase. Why did they make it a political issue? Because they could. Because this isn't as deadly as what they say it is. I saw something in the U.S. is actually one of the worst countries for deaths and COVID and all that type of stuff. Why? No, compared to even like South Africa. No, Africa. What, why are they better than we are? What's going on? No, what are they taking that we're being denied? So you want to know how to convince a skeptical public to get a fourth shot? Stop hiding the information. Stop giving us misinformation. Because one of the worst things right here is this right here, which requires no, no adequate, approved, or available alternatives. That's, that is the biggest problem with us getting over COVID, is the emergency use authorization that they're doing. Until they stop doing that and actually start putting out a treatment. I mean, let, let, let's face it, if we had a treatment, and you, know, you, you go to the doctor, and he goes, take this. If you don't feel better in a couple of days, you know, go, to the, I, go to the ER. I mean, how many people would be treated? You, know, you, you don't go to the doctor for the flu, and the doctor goes, oh, well, if you get worse, uh, go to the ER. No, he gives you a treatment. It's time to start doing that. That's the only way we're getting out of this one. Now, that's my thought. Let me know what you think. Good, bad. Can't believe there's another booster. And uh, I'm on YouTube. Come on over to Rumble. And I'll see you next video.